Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I look really hilarious. Um, ah, for some reason, when I uh, snooze in the morning and I actually sleep in, my eyes get really puffy. So <laughs> I'm using cucumber to wake up my face a bit. Um, I just started watching my old videos and I saw Miss making, yeah, creating videos and sharing my life with you guys. And yeah, I'm actually planning on doing a 30 day challenge to, yeah, make videos again. Um, and now I just thought, why not just starting, you know, I always like, um, <sighs> procrastinate and procrastinate, but I just thought, I will just sit down with you guys and talk a little bit, even though I look like, I don't know what, I just showered and um, yeah. What I noticed, my old videos, I actually I never really used makeup um, for a long time when I lived in Asia. I just really liked being all natural and stuff and since I moved back to Germany, I don't know, living in a big city like Berlin, I like to play around a bit and I actually feel a bit more conscious, self-conscious if I, um, yeah, don't put on mascara or something. It's really interesting, very interesting. Anyway, today I would like to talk a little bit about my story because maybe some of you guys don't even know, like, um, yeah, about my life. And I think um, I had some pretty unique experiences and my life has been a bit more <laughs> not so conventional so I just give you a little summary and uh, then you also know what the 30 day challenge will be about because I will talk more about yeah what I experienced and I think I have a lot to give I have a lot of like um, not only my experiences but everything I learned from it and I'm a very reflected person and I am very much into self-development and um, I really want to, I don't know, be the best version of myself and I think um, I can give back to you guys, if that makes any sense. Can you actually see this? My lip, mm, I don't know, my lip is really cracked. I don't know why. Weird stuff is going on. And yeah, my laundry in the background. I will head to Erfurt today. I will go to my brother. Um, actually, if you look, uh, scroll through my videos, I made a couple of videos with my with my brother once, and in a few other videos, my brother was in there too. So, yeah, he's one of the reasons I moved back to Germany. But hey, what moved back to Germany? Okay, I will tell you my story now. So, story time. <laughs> when I was um, okay, when I was eighteen, so. Blah, 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 blah. I went to school in Dresden until I was 18 and I never had any interest so I was like um, yeah I didn't really know what I should do in my life <laughs> uh, so after I graduated from high school I just worked for a year in a kindergarten and I already felt like the urge of like I want to go abroad I want to like just throw myself into uncertainty or something I don't know why like why I had this inner calling but I followed it so I went to Australia which was like super 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 intimidating for me like huge challenge because I hardly spoke any English I was really yeah kind of shy and quite I don't know innocent in, I don't know if innocent is the right word but not experienced with life or anything you know I lived with my parents up until then and didn't really had any responsibilities or something but anyway I went to Australia in my head it was planned I would stay there for eight months just you know backpacking traveling making experiences and then come back to study because I felt very 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 pressured from society from not my family too much because they kind of always supported me but especially for myself to um, yeah start studying you know do something for my career uh, because that's what you're supposed to do after you graduate from high school but yeah the challenge was always that I never knew what I wanted to study but in my head there was the plan eight months traveling and then going back to Germany to study but <laughs> on my way I met many really wonderful people but one person in particular um, 
and he became my partner at the time and I'm so grateful we met because he was like a mentor in my life. Only through him I got into personal development and like all this stuff and also the nomad life because he wanted to, like he was also from Germany and he wanted to live abroad. So um, with my idea going back to Germany and he wanted to stay abroad we, and we really wanted to stay together. We did a lot of brainstorming, what we could do and how we can bring, yeah, stay together. So we kind of made a compromise <laughs> to move to New Zealand because um, there you can also have this work and travel um, visa. So it allows you to stay there for one year and work and travel. You have a work permit. Uh, so yeah that's what we did and for me it was very scary because I had no idea what I would do and I didn't really have anyone who uh, kind of 100% supported me like everyone really kind of questioned my decision um, because most people I knew actually almost everyone I knew they kn know like they knew school university job you know that's family that's the order of things and then this big decision of yeah moving to New Zealand not knowing what I would do um, stuff was quite challenging for me and I was a little bit yeah not yeah a bit depressed I would say and like feeling really lost in life but I started working in hospitality I was a waitress and that was a huge um, challenge for me, uh, like a good one, because I learned a lot about like um, yeah, being a bit more confident and especially with English because that was always my struggle. In high school actually I was told like I'm really really bad with the language <laughs> and I've, I will fail my high school diploma because of English. But anyway, um, yeah we stayed there and then we really um, started liking this nomad life like living abroad and very soon we decided okay let's just apply for work and travel in Canada so after we can move to Canada so we have the option and that's what we did basically so stayed one year in Australia stayed one year in New Zealand and then we moved to Canada and I was a bit more no, actually I was not sure about my path yet, but I felt more confident because I trusted in the relationship we had and we had a big, um, like, was a strong um, union, you could say, <laughs> between um, my boyfriend and the time and me. I uh, feel ver felt very supported and stuff. Um, but in Canada, you know, I got a bit tired of working as a waitress and I knew this will not be my life. Uh, for, I, don't, I didn't want to just work as a waitress in hospitality so I got much into the digital nomad movement so back then uh, it was still like I stumbled upon a lot of blogs like travel blogs and they talked about how they fund their lifestyle just through blogging or content creation like as a freelancer and stuff and I was really hooked and I started a website called real world degree where I wanted to like uh, document my journey, um, not going to university, but creating my own business or something. But I was not confident yet. And I don't know, I didn't really trust in myself a lot. So I didn't pursue it a long time, but I started working as a freelancer, like content creation, uh, translating for websites and stuff. And that was really exciting because it was the first time earning money online, but I didn't earn a lot of money. <laughs> so um, after a year in Canada, we moved to Panama because we had friends over there. And that was the first time living in a country with cheap living costs, but earning like Western money. Like my boyfriend earned Western money. I didn't really earn a lot of money, but I did some. And that was exciting, but because I didn't really speak Spanish and other reasons we didn't want to stay there. And we had a friend in Laos <laughs> and he told us there are job opportunities, especially for my boyfriend because he changed careers. And so, yeah, we moved from Panama to Laos. That was crazy. Um, 
very different countries and I've never ever been to Asia before and before I didn't even know where Laos was. <laughs> so we moved there and I still worked online but uh, quickly realized okay it doesn't bring any money so started applying for jobs. Actually I started first working like as a babysitter for someone I met there like an Australian family and she was a nursery teacher in the kindergarten and she actually pushed me a lot to like uh, apply just at the schools and I did and I was just so lucky because one week before the school started um, I applied and I got the job and it was actually a really really good job like so good I learned so much and um, I was really challenged because, you know, knowing my story, I always struggled with English and then I was actually a teacher in English. So it was an international um, private school, mainly for Lao school students, so they actually paid quite a lot. And yeah, I really liked the exotic lifestyle you had in Laos and a lot of other things. Um, my boyfriend didn't like it too much, so... Um, yeah, we split up after all and then it got a bit crazy in my life. I got together with someone else. But looking back, all people who entered my life, they had to enter my life. And I'm so grateful for each one of them because they all taught me a lesson and they all were a good guidance. And even with like hard times, it's still like, yeah, I'm so grateful for everything. <laughs> and I stayed three years at the school. And I would say I really um, yeah, developed myself as a teacher. I was very lucky. I got a, a British um, teacher joined our school and she was then like my mentor. She like taught me so much and I'm so grateful for her too. Um, yeah, so I stayed there and liked it, but always had ups and downs because the expert life, you know, is very different. Um, I don't know if you know expert life, but it's like the Western people who live like in a country like Asia. And it's like a bubble because, yeah, you are with all these Westerners, but not really with um, the, uh, what do you call the locals. And um, also I was like in this high society bubble because the people I worked for, like the parents, they had quite a lot of money, which was really hard for me because I was in one of the poorest countries in Asia and then seeing all this wealth and how like, how is it, in quality, it, it's not, you know, ah, you know what I mean, English, see? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was challenging and the ch most challenging part was that um, the people, the Westerners who lived there, I made friends, but they always came and they went they left again because they you know came for internship or something so yeah that was challenging always having you know changing people around me so after all I had the urge to move back to Germany uh, also a lot of personal reasons and especially with my family yeah and in Laos I also got much into like healthy living I started um, doing more fitness and I started getting into like holistic approaches and natural, um, how you call all this, like alternative medicine and all of this. And yeah, healthy, healthy lifestyle routines and especially taking care of my mental health as well, because as I told you, it was quite challenging with my partner because we triggered a lot, uh, a lot of stuff and I had to deal with a lot of emotional stuff but in the end you know I'm so glad uh, because I yeah I just um, looked at my shadows in life and I would say like I grew a lot <sighs> anyway I felt the urge of moving back to Germany and um, I applied for university and um, got accepted, got a room even, but I was not emotionally strong enough to move back. <laughs> it was very hard and like being in this relationship and everything and oh my God. So started like did start, um, quit my job in Laos, but started traveling and then after all returned and uh, ended the relationship. 
and um, now I've been back for five months now back in Germany uh, I moved to Berlin and um, I actually just I actually thought I would study but now I'm so I have so many projects I'm I'm working on and I've, I really question a lot uh, of uh, <laughs> I really started questioning a lot like how I want to live do I want to be like a do I just want to be employed or do I want to create something on my own and all of this and then also like working on myself a lot being becoming more confident and independent and all this so these are like my big projects at the moment <laughs> and um, the big reason why I wanted to move back was also to spend time with my family that's what I'm doing and my vision vision now is to stay in Germany for three years or so working on myself working on my career and yeah just learning a lot and then I want to move abroad again I don't know where and with whom or by myself or I don't know but I just know that this is just a part of my nomad life being here and still like being here I want to travel a lot and yeah continue this crazy journey called life Oh my god, this got quite long, but I just wanted to tell you all of this and maybe you feel inspired, but also it gives you a little sneak peek into my next videos I will create, um, talking a lot about traveling, living abroad, but a lot also about like just um, self-growth, personal growth and all of this and yeah. I hope you found it interesting and if you want to know anything in particular let me know um, comment below and yeah I'm looking forward to get in touch with you guys and uh, creating more content here on this channel so thank you so much for watching sorry about this crazy look but yeah that's life so <laughs> thanks for watching see you bye